some perspective on this crisis. We're joined by Andy Hunder. He is director of the Ukrainian Institute in London. It's pretty shocking to see these kind of images now in the Maidan Independence Square in Kiev, but there doesn't seem to be a way out yet. What are you seeing in terms of the possibilities? I think the, the news coming out is truly shocking, the numbers of people killed, and it's people that uh, have been standing out there for a number of months. Um, our institute is affiliated to the Ukraine Catholic University, and one of the lecturers of the university was shot dead today. Um, so it, it's all, it's very getting personal, and I think the way out uh, at the moment is, the only way out is for Yanukovych to leave. I think it's finding a way, putting him on a plane to either Kyrgyzstan or Belarus, and uh, that's his really option now is to leave, because it's going to be very difficult for the protesters to come up with anything more. He has started shooting with live ammunition against his own people. Well, this is what I want to ask you. Is this the, big, the tipping point? I mean, when you see numbers like 100 people killed in just one day on the streets of Kiev, you have to wonder, is there any going back at this point? That's it. This is, this is the, the, the pivotal moment. And I think it's really, Yanukovych must understand that there's no future for him in Ukraine. He has to leave. And I think it's really the EU now, or, and the US, to give him assurances um, that he can have a, a future outside of Ukraine.